Welcome everybody to Data Science for Pen Testers. I will be your instructor, Sanan Ostermer. Uh, this is part of the Pen Tester Academy, and I would just like to be the first to say welcome, welcome, welcome to this very exciting course. So, a little bit about Myself, uh, as I mentioned before, my name is Sanan Osdemer. I am a former lecturer of business intelligence at the Johns Hopkins University. I am also the founder of Kylie.ai, which is in the business of cloning personalities using deep learning, which, yes, deep learning is a part of this course. And I am also author of the textbook, uh, The Principles of Data Science. So if you are looking for some extra material, I do have to recommend my book. Uh, about the course outline, this is meant to give you both a theoretical and a practical sense uh, of data science with applications to security, penetration testing, and security research. Uh, we will be using many, many data sets in this course. Uh, of of course, we will also be using data sets that are related to the field of spam detection, network intrusion, so on and so forth. Uh, by the end of this course, uh, the students, that's you, will be able to analyze uh, data sets and not only that, provide intelligent insights using the Python programming language. Now, as far as key learning objectives go, uh, we're going to be using Python for basic data aggregation, manipulation, and cleaning, we're going to walk through the data science workflow and the pipeline of how we perform data science tasks. Um, notice I'm not saying machine learning quite yet because data science is actually much more than just machine learning. But of course we will be building and evaluating machine learning algorithms in order to further uh, understand data. Uh, we'll be gaining both a theoretical and a practical sense of these algorithms. There's no point uh, in just knowing how they work, you have to be able to be able to make them work yourself. Uh, we'll also be using natural language processing to provide structure to text data that we're going to be working with throughout this course. Now, if you're wondering what you need to get started, uh, any Windows, Mac, or Linux machines are totally okay. Uh, the things that you will need are Python 2.7, version 2.7 installed on that machine. Uh, I do recommend you go install something called Anaconda, which is a software distribution package that's found uh, on Continuum.org, and in the next video I'm actually going to be showing you where to find that. It includes over 95% of the materials and modules needed that we're going to be using in this course. Uh, we'll also be using Jupyter Notebooks in order to write and run code, and uh, this also comes with Anaconda. And we're going to be going over Jupyter Notebooks in the next video as well. Now to give you a kind of a brief overview of the modules in this course, we're going to be starting with an introduction to the course uh, and talking about Pandas, our data manipulation uh, software tool. We'll then move on to module two. We'll be talking about an introduction to machine learning, as well as learning our first machine learning model, uh, K nearest neighbors, or KNN. After that, we're going to get pretty serious. We're going to start learning about new machine learning models such as linear regression and logistic regression. And we're also going to be talking about how to evaluate machine learning models because it's no point in creating them if we can't tell how well they're doing. Uh, once we get that, we're going to take a break from machine learning and step into the world of natural language processing we'll, where we'll be looking at large uh, unstructured text data in order to gain insights from them. Uh, moving on to module six, uh, we'll be piping our text data into a very fast machine learning model based on Bayesian inference called Naive Bayes Classification. And did I hear the word pipe? I did, uh, because our next module, module seven, will be dealing with feature unions and pipelines, which are uh, very effective and very simple tools in order to build complex data science pipelines with only a few lines of code. Uh, then we get serious, everyone. We're going to get a lot. Of, we're going to get very serious in module eight. We're going to be talking about more modern, uh, 1980s forward machine learning models such as decision trees. And in module nine, we're going to get into even more modern machine learning techniques uh, called ensembling, where we'll be talking about how to combine hundreds or not, if not thousands, of machine learning models together in order to create something bigger than the sum of its parts. 
Uh, modules 10 and 11 are going to be dealing with this idea of how do you exploit structure and patterns within data in order to bring out the best in the data or reduce them in size without losing any information. Uh, we'll also be talking about clustering, which is the idea of adding meta tags to pieces of data based on how they behave similarly to other data points and how they behave differently from other data points. Uh, module 12, uh, we'll be talking about this mathematical concept called stochastic gradient descent, in, which is the baseline for many, um, for a, a data science and machine learning knowledge base, gradient descent, um, and specifically stochastic gradient descent is kind of a baseline of optimization. Uh, which leads us to our second to last module, module 13, where we'll be implementing gradient descent in order to look at deep learning and neural networks using TensorFlow uh, in Python. Uh, our last module is going to be dealing with recommendation engines. It is a, a time to kind of apply what we've learned into a case study and actually be able to manipulate machine learning models and change them based on our own needs. So I'm very excited to get started uh, with everybody here. Thank you so much for watching this intro video and I can't wait to see you next time. All right, have a good one. Bye.